So, Coach Alex have been practicing for some time already. Tell us about your first impression of the new team that uh, you've built up. The first couple of days are always about uh, getting to know each other, um, seeing in which base shape everybody is, um, and, and really, you know, feeling those things out. Uh, so, so far, uh, having said that, um, the guys are in pretty good shape. Um, and, and that's the main thing as of now. Coach, uh, it was your first proper off-season. Then you co could contribute to the roster building, uh, etc. Et so, how would you assess the job club has done in the summer? For now, for now, very good. Um, but the reality is, one will see when the games start, right? So. Um, that's a very short answer, I know, but it's, it's the reality of it. We are very happy. We are very happy with what we put together. We're very happy with uh, having these guys and these characters in here. Uh, and now, you know, it's about uh, putting them together and then we will see uh, what, the, what the result will be. Uh, did you get all or at least majority of number one targets of your summer transfers? Uh, we got, we got uh, players who really wanted in here. So uh, I think that's the main thing. Uh, Moody is probably the best known player on this team. So in your opinion, uh, what convinced him to join Jalgiris? Could you share that whole process of approaching him and trying to convince him? It was less about convincing. Uh, it was more about uh, waiting and evaluating uh, his NBA options. Um, therefore, the process was a little bit longer. Uh, also, uh, putting in consideration that Summer League was so much later, a month later than normal, that shifted a lot of things back uh, and, and just like, you know, made the process longer. So, uh, again, it was not about convincing, it was more about waiting for options uh, and seeing how legitimate they were for him. Um, but. Uh, he was uh, very, very interested and intrigued uh, in the in the Euroleague chance with Jalgiris early on in the early talks. So, um, you know, the, the process was more waiting for what is on the other side. And then when things shaped out, um, uh, it was pretty quick to get him over and we'll get started soon. Uh, also, maybe concern is a bit too strong for but is there some kind of worry about his shape, knowing that he didn't have the club last season? How, how did he keep his shape last year? Um, there is... He's in pretty good shape for the circumstances that he has not played. He's been working out the entire uh, year with his trainers. He played in Summer League um, two weeks back and was in pretty decent shape. So there is no massive concern. It is more, yes, you have to bring an athlete back into real game time shape um, with the hurdle of him not having played, which makes it a little more difficult. So concern is a little bit too strong of a word, but the challenge is there for sure. Uh, also, having the roster now you have, so what kind of vision do you have for this team and what kind of best basketball fans can expect? One of the things on the offensive end that we looked at was we wanted to be able to space the floor and shoot the basketball. Um, so by signing Tyler Kavanaugh early and uh, Nils Giffey early, um, we moved in that direction pretty early in the process. Uh, so, so that's one of the, one of the characters, uh, characteristics that I believe we will see. We shot the ball extremely well last year, but we didn't shoot it a lot. So the goal is to shoot it well again, but shoot more of the threes. Uh, we will see. Uh, last season, uh, Marius Grigonis was the goal guy in the clutch situations. Uh, hypothetically speaking, who do you think can take this role next year? We will see. It's, uh, and, and I really have to say we will see because it's, it's, it's not clear. It's more 
uh, we'll have to see and, and figure things out. With Marius last year, it was a whole different story because he had been here, his status in the club and his status in the league was pretty obvious and clear. Uh, so there was really no secret around it, right? Like, uh, so with this group, with so much turnaround that we have, it's very difficult to say as of now. So I'm sorry that I can't answer the question precisely. Yeah, I'm sorry, you just don't turn off the cameras. Got gotcha. you. Okay. Gotcha. Uh, also, there was an addition in the coaching staff. So what could you say about coach Stefan uh, Grassiger? Uh, what, what, what will he add to the team? What kind of role will he have? Stuff like that. Yeah, he adds to the team um, a very good analytical thinking and working. Uh, he adds to the team uh, extremely good uh, technical qualities, um, which in nowadays coaching is very important. So those, I would say, are the two main attributes, next to the fact that uh, he's an extremely loyal worker and somebody whose work I've known for a long time. So those are the, those are the attributes that he'll have. For you, it's the second season in Salgiris. Can you compare the difference uh, with the first one, the start of the first one? Yeah, um, it's a big difference. Um, Due to the fact of like practical things, I know the city, I know the arena, I know the practice facility. Uh, now I have been here and big parts of the group have not been here. So that's a new dynamic. Um, I know the EuroLeague now, uh, I've experienced the LKL, so those pieces of experience um, obviously give me a little bit more, you know, like stability or however you want to call it. Um, so, so those are differences, yes. Pluses. They can be pluses. They should be pluses. Um, you know, and, uh, there, there's also a big quality to uh, to being uh, uncomfortable and trying to figure out things uh, like last year. So it's always a process, and uh, you know, the 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 challenging parts will just be on a different level. They are not the things that I talked about just now. Notikos, yeah, notikos darbinės, nes pirmas tikrai keli, pirmi keli ciklai buvo sunkus, tai a, kojo sunkios, pavargė, bet a, tai natūrali šito proceso dalis prieš sezoną ir važiuojam pagal planą. Kokie jūs asmeniai tikslai šį sezoną? Asmeniai tikslai yra kuo daugiau padėti komandai, tai savo kažkokių vienie keli tikslų, o, o O tiesiog prisidėti daugiau prie bendros komandos sėkmės. Kaip verna komandos kompetencijos? Vėlgi labai sudėtinga vertinti prieš sezoną, nes daug žaidėjų pasikeitė ir, ir galbūt galima išvelgti kažkokių tendencijų ar vieno ar kitoje pozicijoje, bet vėlgi viskas sakys, tik tai komandos žaidimas aikštelė, o ant popieriaus gali vertinti kiek nori. Ką jums reiškia sugrįžimas į žalį? Ką reiškia sugrūžimas į Žalgirį? Nu, džiaugiuosi grįžęs namo ir vis tiek tai čia mano pirma komanda ir, ir greičiausiai paskutinė, taip kad uh, norisi, sakau, ne, jau kaip minėjau, ne kartą sakys, norisi ne tik tai grįžti, pabaigti kažkokią karjerą kažkada, bet uh, duoti kažkokios naudos komandą. Kaip tas klubas turi galbūt pokytinę atsferą? Be abejo, tai yra išskirtinė, kiek teko žaisti komandą ir tas tikrai yra toksai šeimos ir bendruomenės pojūtis grįžus ir, ir netgi daugelį metų, kiek aš nebuvau visą laiką palaikydavo ryšius, tiek su žaidėjais, tiek, tiek su klubo vadovais, tiek su, 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 su darbuotojais komandos, kurie, kurie dirba kitus darbus. Taip kad ir aišku, tos išskirtinės sąlygos sportavimo, tai turbūt iki šiol Europoje nelabai kas tokį duri. Ar treneris jau pristatė komandos vidimo vizę, kaip susivaizduoja šios komandos? Kol kas nieko nepristatė, tik tai keli, mes turėjom dar dvi treniruotę salę, kurios labiau buvo fizinio pasirengimo pobūdžio, taip kad dar čia kažkokios taktikas ar komandos vizijos a, a, žaidimo plano tikrai nepristatė, nes dabar dar netas laikas.